What's up everybody, welcome back to Double T Gaming, we got some new Call of Duty World War 2 information. First off, if you guys have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that sub button for me, hit that notification bell for me, I'm gonna bring you guys all the new info we got on everything Call of Duty, everything NBA 2K, everything NBA Live, everything on everything over the next couple of weeks, especially with E3 coming up. Now the second half of 2017 looks like it's gonna be one heck of a year for gamers, with Destiny 2 drop in early September, NBA 2K18 drop in mid-September, NBA Live speculating hopefully in October launch, and World War II coming out in November. So we are definitely going to have a lot to talk about until then with news coming out every day. But let's go ahead and talk about World War II. First off, for all those Nintendo fans out there, it's looking more and more like that Call of Duty World War II will be released for the Nintendo Switch. Now a COD game hasn't come to Nintendo products since Black Ops 2 back in 2012, this is going to be a major thing for Nintendo. After Black Ops 2 had died down and Ghost was about to launch, the option for linking your COD profile and Nintendo profile was actually taken down from the websites. But it was just recently added back onto those sites, so people are speculating it could be very well released on the Switch. We still don't have any official word, all we do know is that it'll be on the main Xbox and PS4 consoles, and also on the PC. But we also have more details about a new multiplayer mode on COD World War 2, called War. It works sort of like how Battlefield works. It's a push-pull kind of thing. A sledgehammer rep recently said in an interview with Game Radar that it's going to be a narrative mode that represents the fights between the Allies and the Axis during the later years of World War II, when the US and Europe were trying to push back the Nazis in Europe. So I'm assuming there's going to be like capture points. So let's say there's Team 1 and there's Team 2. Team 1 is pushing and attacking and Team 2 is defending point A. Team 1 overtakes point A, forcing Team 2 to pull back to point B, and it just keeps going like that, and eventually if they're able to push far enough or defend long enough, that team would win. The multiplayer mode this year really seems to tie into an actual narrative rather than just a Team 1 versus Team 2 kind of thing. Either way, it's going to be pretty sweet. But that's all the news I got for you guys today, let me know what you guys think about the new COD coming out in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that sub button for me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.